morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this year's Gaelic Games. Uh, I'm going to announce now the first teams on each pitch. So. 7.45 a.m. and teams get ready to start at exactly 8 o'clock, including a celebrity banister impressed by the setup. Look around there, the turnout is absolutely fantastic. Um, fabulous organisation, fabulous effort, like you know, and um, I can, you can feel the enthusiasm of all the players and really looking forward to it now, seeing how it all pans out. The games are being played in Malaysia for the third year in a row. The main sponsor is Fexco and 48 teams have come from as far apart as Dubai and Korea. Games are nine aside and of short duration, partly because of the intense heat and humidity. Competitions are graded. The Asian president is present as always. There's hurling on show with these teams from Shanghai in blue and Korea in green. And local children played in an exhibition game during the afternoon when this young fella in the blue boots scored one of the best points of the entire day. There's a healthy mix of nationalities with lots of new converts to Gaelic games. Some directly through Irish people and some by accident. Um, I googled them and they replied, they were very kind, they were like, yeah sure, come join. But I thought it was football soccer. And in a practice, I realized it was Gaelic, and I was like, oh, <laughs> this is completely different. And they were, no, 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 stay, it's going to be fun. And actually, it's been fun, it's been amazing. There's also new clubs like Johor Baru, who were definitely up for their first match. We're pumped, we're absolutely pumped. And excitement through, through the, the whole 15 lads is just absolutely superb. History, well, history comes tomorrow afternoon when we're going to win it that's when history is going to come and we're starting off with a, the first Malaysian derby game because KL have had a team for many years but now they have a second team of GAA here in Malaysia it's Johor Baru and we're here to win yay come on <laughs> and they did a one point win giving Johor a perfect start Another new team is a UCD international ladies football team, made up of non-Irish students and managed by Brian Mullins. Very, very excited. Like we've done so much work and we made like so much effort and we got so much support that now we want to get give something out of us and show that we can play and that we can compete. Agatha, wearing four, played a captain's part as UCD won their first two matches before losing narrowly to Kuala Lumpur's Orang Era and then finishing the day on a high with a third victory to set things up nicely for finals day and to show that players from different backgrounds can come together through Gaelic games. They have and that's hopefully one of the things they learn now this about creating a sense of purpose and a sense of unity uh, no matter for where they are from the world and the great thing is that it's our sport, our Gaelic games that's bringing that about for them. They're playing as a team and individually they're putting in their best effort to be the best they can so that they can contribute to the team effort. In the A grade, Dubai Celts look strong in men's football. They lost the final last year to Qatar and will be aiming to go one better on Sunday. While last year's finalists in ladies football, Singapore and Shanghai, drew today in a group game. Singapore are out to avenge last year's final defeat. I think Shanghai were probably, and this is no disrespect to any other teams, but I think they were the strongest team we were going to meet in our group. Um, so we're definitely through to semi-final tomorrow because there's four teams in the group. So I predict ourselves in Shanghai in the final again this year. And uh, we are not going to give up that easy. You know, we are a new team this year compared to last year, but we want to get back our title that we missed out on last year. So I think it'll be an amazing final. Um, it was good to play them today and get like, um, you know, a feel for the team that they are this year. And uh, we learned something that we're not going to, you know, we can bring to the game tomorrow, you know, either the semi-final or final whenever we meet them.